Hey guys and welcome back to this channel. So in today's video I thought to show you real quick how to delete unwanted messages on your iPhone. So I was looking the other day on my computer and I was baffled to see or to discover how many people are looking on uh, on the internet on how to delete messages on your iPhone. And to be honest it's very easy but there are some tricks that you can do to make it more easier for you. So this video is built in three parts. The first part is to show you how to delete unwanted conversations. The second part is to show you how to delete a whole conversation. So not an individual message, but a whole conversation. And the third part is to show you how to do this automatically. So how to tell your iPhone to delete your messages automatically. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So like I said, the first way is how to delete unwanted messages. So I'm here in my Uber uh, message uh, chat and um, how to delete these messages. And by the way, the reason why you want to delete these messages is because you don't want a cluttered iPhone storage. To be honest, those te text messages will not uh, take a lot of space on your iPhone. But um, once you start sending videos and memes and pictures, that's where the storage will uh, get uh, a little cluttered. So how to delete individual messages. So what you can do is go to whatever message you want, tap on it and keep tapping, hit more. And now you get this select area. So you can select one or multiple messages and... Um, you can just delete them or you can just go to the right corner here and hit delete all and that way you delete the whole conversation. Uh, but I'll just delete these four messages uh, and that's actually it. It's that simple. How to delete a whole conversation. So let's say I want to delete this one. I go to edit, select a message and uh, tap on that message and hit delete on the bottom corner of your iPhone. So that way your whole conversation will be deleted and you can't get it back. So be careful what conversation you want to delete and whatnot. And the last way I want to show you is to automatically let your iPhone delete old messages. This is something I'm not selecting. Why? Because I always want to choose which uh, conversation I want to delete and which not. Uh, it's very funny to look to a conversation you made like five years ago uh, that gives you that uh, nostalgic feeling. And I always love to uh, do that. So once in a while, I'll just scroll into my messages just to see what um, conversation I had a couple of years ago. But if you want to automatically delete all your messages. What you can do is go to your settings uh, and I already went to there just to prepare for this video. So once you are on your settings, you scroll down and you go to messages and um, what you want, what you need to do is go to keep messages. So uh, you can choose whether to keep them forever or uh, to keep them for just one year or to keep them for 30 days. But once you select one of those options, uh, let's say if you want to, uh, to keep them for a year, um, every message or every conversation that you had before the previous year will be deleted. So if you hit delete all that conversations uh, before the previous year will be deleted. So be careful what message to delete and whatnot. And that's actually it, guys. I hope you had some value out of this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I've written a whole article about this very topic. So uh, I'll leave a, a direct link to that. Go and check it out. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me out. Like this video if you had, if you had any value out of it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.